The growing concerns over reports of hundreds of children living in deplorable conditions at government migrant centers. The Trump administration reportedly moving hundreds of children from this Texas Border Patrol station. The Trump administration has not weighed in on this. The headline comes after President Trump abruptly delayed this weekend those sweeping ICE raids. So why did he halt the raids? The president had been on the phone with Speaker Nancy Pelosi and what she said today. Mary Bruce on the Hill. Tonight, the government is reportedly moving hundreds of migrant children out of this Texas holding facility after growing outrage over conditions that are being described as dire. They are dirty, they are hungry, they are sleeping on concrete floors. Attorney Warren Binford tells ABC News she met with young children at that Clint, Texas facility who were left to care for each other, soiled and dirty without enough food or water. Many of the children were sick, especially the young children. In a statement, Customs and Border Protection tells us they have limited resources, but are working to provide the best care possible for those in our custody, especially children. When pressed about these conditions, the president blamed the Democrats. We're That's doing tough. a fantastic job under the circumstances. The Democrats aren't even approving giving us money. Where is the money? Trump is trying to up the pressure on Capitol Hill, giving lawmakers just two weeks to act on immigration, or else he says he will go ahead with sweeping raids of families who are in the U.S. illegally. A mass roundup was planned for this weekend, but then the president spoke with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. In a 12-minute phone call, she told him the raids would inject terror into our communities. So when I spoke to the president, I said, look, I'm a mom. I have five kids, seven, nine grandchildren, and, and um, your children are scared. You're scaring the children of America. And Mary Bruce is back on the Hill for us again tonight. And Mary, we just heard Speaker Pelosi there. The president is blaming Democrats for blocking him on immigration, but the Democrats, including Speaker Pelosi, say they have a plan. Yeah, David, Democrats with Republicans are now trying to hammer out a plan that would provide $4.5 billion in humanitarian aid. But the president is also demanding changes to the asylum laws in the next two weeks. Speaker Pelosi tonight, though, is making it pretty clear that is not going to happen. David. Mary Bruce starting another week on the Hill. Mary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.